Hey guys, C Dub here, and I'm back with another anime talk. And I know it's been a minute. I'm gonna start doing more of these. But anyway, I'm here with a top five Yu-Gi-Oh duels that should have happened. And this is my list. This is what I think should have happened, and that we should have been able to see. And here we go. Honorable mention to Joey versus Noah. It could have made the list, but I just feel like it wasn't as noteworthy. And Noah, he's a good character. But I don't feel like he's big time like Pegasus, Joey, Merrick, Darts. I don't feel like he meets that range for me personally. So honorable mention, but I didn't put him on the list. Number five to me is Joey versus Pegasus. And I'm putting this number five because I know a lot of people are going to say Pegasus would have owned Joey, which is probably true. The thing about Joey is if you fucking fool around with him, he'll eventually be able to come back. You got to put him down early, which is why Kaiba is usually able to just own him. You've seen that early in Duelist Kingdom and later on in Battle City. He's able to own him quickly because he fooled around with Yugi and Yugi taught him that if you fool around with people, you can't let people hang around, they can come back. So yeah, he was strictly business and he took Joey down. Pegasus, he has the Millennium Eye. He's going to be wanting to fool around. He likes to toy with people at this time. So for that reason, I feel like Joey can hang around and stuff. Pegasus probably wins, but... Joey has a little bit of a chance, but that Millennium Eye is just so damn OP that probably for the majority of the duel, Pegasus is going to just be toying with him. I kind of wanted to put Joey versus Noah here, but as I said, just wasn't noteworthy enough, so that's why Pegasus versus Joey gets this number five spot. Pegasus probably owns him, but I felt like it should be number five, at least on this list. Still would have been fun to see. Like I said, Pegasus wins easily. Number four is Darts vs. Merrick, and I know that this is not canon with the manga and stuff, but whatever. I'm still gonna put Darts vs. Merrick here, and both of their decks are pretty damn OP for this time. Merrick will be able to respawn Raw and spawn him, while Darts has a lot of fucking tricks up his sleeves with that deck, so this would definitely make for an enjoyable duel. The thing is, they both kinda do the same thing, so that's why it's a little bit low, because they both use, well, Merrick uses the Shadow Realm, Darts uses the Seal of Oikalkos, they both do the same thing. If you lose the duel, you pretty much lose your soul or whatever. So that's why this is low, since both do the exact same thing, really. I know Merrick is way better, I think, than Darts. Not that Darts is bad, but just character-wise, I think Merrick is a lot better. And it just still would have been a fun duel. Seeing Raw just come out, seeing how Darts would have had to be able to battle against that and battle back with his deck, with his OP fucking cards, <laughs> would have been fun to see. Um, uh, it's hard to say who wins this duel. It's really hard to say. Whew, yeah, that's a hard one now that I think about who's going to win. Um, damn. Oh, I had to stop and actually think on who would win this. It actually just comes down to if Merrick gets raw early. If Merrick gets raw early, it's a wrap. He can just keep respawning it. And he has so many different ways to bring it out. Darch deck is OP, but if Merrick gets raw... It's over. So pretty much, if Merrick gets raw early in the duel, forget about it. It's over. Merrick easily wins. If Darts is able to hang on and stop that, his card is so much more OP than Merrick. It just comes down to Merrick getting raw. So if it's deep in his deck, Darts wins. If he draws it early, Merrick wins. That's my answer to who wins that. But that would have been a great duel, I think, actually, now that I think about it, to see. Because that's a very back and forth duel. Could be, potentially, at least. Number three is Joey versus Bakura, and I really think this could be a good duel, and I think this is a duel that Joey can win, I think. Mainly because Bakura has so many different plans and plan Bs that he's probably not going to take this duel as seriously, and if you don't take the duel seriously with Joey, he's able to sneak up and get you. And since Bakura has so many different plans, he won't even really care about a loss here. But I want the Duelist Kingdom Joey. I don't want the Battle City Joey because I didn't like the Paddle City deck. He had so many cards that just shouldn't be there. Like, I don't know why he had the Fisherman in there, the Legendary Fisherman card and the Insect Queen. He had just a lot of cards that shouldn't be there. I liked his Duelist Kingdom deck a lot more personally. So definitely I want the Duelist Kingdom version of them to duel. And that would have been a really, 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 really great duel, I think. Joey, I think, actually wins this because, like I said, Bakura doesn't take this as seriously. So yeah, I would give this one to Joey, finding a way to overcome some craziness. So yeah, Joey wins. 
Number two is Kaiba versus Merrick. And this is a Kaiba I'm gonna use that if he would have beat Yugi and got Slifer as well. And he would have dueled America. I think Kaiba actually can win this duel. Wouldn't have been easy, like he said. Definitely wouldn't have been an easy duel, but with Kaiba's strategy, I think he could have pulled it off. Yes, Raw was OP back then in Battle City, but still, I think Kaiba as a duelist and strategist pulls this out in a very back and forth duel, similar to the Yugi one he had before then, but this time he comes out on top. So yes, I think Kaiba wins this duel, but he really could go either way. You could easily have Merrick win this duel. So very back and forth. I think Kaiba wins, but easily. Merrick could easily win this, so that would have been a great and fantastic duel, I think, to see. And number one, yes, Merrick is on this list three times, and this is Pegasus versus Merrick. And I'm talking Millennium Eye Pegasus, not the one without it. Millennium Eye Pegasus is just ridiculously... I know I said OP a lot, but he's very fucking overpowered. It's just, it just ridiculous with his Millennium Eye. And you know he's going to have a card for Raw. So he'll have something to counter it and him being able to counter all of American moves and know his thoughts and tricks. That would have been an amazing duel to see Pegasus with the Millennium Eye, I think wins though. As much as Merrick can respawn raw and this, that, and the other. If Pegasus have prep time and can know what you're going to do, he's probably not going to lose. The only reason he lost to Yugi is because he wasn't able to read his mind. There was no way Yugi was going to win that duel. He was touring with him until then, so there's just no way that <laughs> there's just no way that I think Yugi would have won that, and Merrick would have been in for a tough duel, even with a shadow game, because you know he's gonna have to take it to a shadow game to even stand a chance. So he would have made it a shadow game. I don't see him winning though. Uh, I just don't because Pegasus is gonna have something for Raw. He's gonna be able to take it away. He knows. Um, he's going to want to bring it back from the graveyard. He knows he's going to want to spam it. He'll have something to counter that. He, he'll make up a fucking card for the duel. That would have been a great duel to see. Pegasus wins, though. I just don't see how Merrick is going to be able to stop that. If he could read his mind, it's over. It's done. Unless he can't read his mind. That's the only way Merrick, is, I think, is going to pull that off. Pegasus will have something planned up his sleeve. And that's my list. I could have made this a top 10 list, but I didn't want to use other minor characters for it. I figured I'd focus on the top ones. Um, let me know what your guys' top five is. And thanks for watching. I'm definitely going to be doing more anime talks. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.